In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to actually dry your iPhone's charging port in here so you can actually be able to charge your iPhone again and get rid of any message that might be similar to this one which says charging not available liquid has been detected in the lightning connector disconnect to allow the connector to dry this may take several hours so i'm gonna quickly show you how to speed up this process and get rid of this the error might also appear on this layout right here hey my name is Shaq, and in this channel i help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the youtube channel so basically this issue of having your iphone stuck here on the screen or unable to charge is something very very common but you do not need to worry about it because this won't damage your phone okay this usually gets solved on its own but i'm gonna show you how to speed up the process in here okay so first things first if you see this message this is most probably because you've got water inside your phone okay you've got water inside your phone and the very first step in here to actually increase the speed of getting your iPhone to dry is to lock your phone, put it like this in this position, and then just hit it here on your hand, okay? This might be something dumb to do, but it works and helps a lot. It will help you get rid of this error much faster, okay? So you're gonna be performing this for like five to 10 minutes and it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt your hand. It's something super easy to do and this will help you fixing the issue. Now, if this doesn't help fixing the problem, we're gonna move into this step number two. So in step number two, I'm gonna ask you to like, try to connect a different cable into your phone. It might be the case that your cable is wet and not your charging port. So changing your cable, is the very first thing that you need to double check in order to see if this solves the issue that you've got. Now, if changing, switching your cable, trying a different cable doesn't work out, we're moving into the next step, which is the step number three, okay? So pretty much here in step number three, you're gonna need a toothpick. I've got in here a bunch of toothpicks. I'm gonna just quickly take one, okay? Let me grab one toothpick in here, and this should be enough to solve the issue that you've got. So what we're gonna be doing in here is actually cleaning the charging port that we've got in here on our phone, okay? It might be that you've got in here dust, dirt, or lint, okay? Anything that is actually blocking you from charging your phone. So you're gonna be inserting the toothpick here and you're gonna be performing this movement to the left and remove, okay? Insert, left, remove. And over here, you're gonna remove as much lint and dust as possible now make sure you perform this with a toothpick because if you have something else it might damage your phone so make sure that you're using a toothpick just like mine right here as you can see in here we've got a lot of lint coming out here from our phone okay so you gotta perform this in order to remove as much lint as possible from your phone here's a quick representation of how much lint i actually found here on my phone see all this is actually dust and it might be blocking your phone from charging. Now, if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got, we're moving into the last step where I'll ask you to actually force restart your phone because there might be a glitch, okay? It might be the case that your phone is already solved, there's no more water or dust inside, but simply the software is still stuck thinking that you still have something down there. So what you're gonna be doing in here is perform a force restart. And in order to perform this, it's very easy. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna tap on volume up, release, and rapidly tap on volume down, release, and then press and hold the power button for a couple seconds until you see the Apple logo here on your screen, okay? This is how it goes one two and then pressing and holding the power button only keep on pressing i'm only pressing the power button i'm not pressing nothing here only the power button i'm still pressing the power button and nothing else here still pressing the power button and once you see the apple logo for the first time you're going to keep on pressing don't release it until you see the apple logo for the second time so once you see the Apple logo for the second time, you're gonna release the power button. So once you see the Apple logo for the second time, you're gonna release the button and let your phone turn on normally, okay? So this should also help fixing this problem. So after performing all these steps, perform this as the last one and then try to unlock and double check if the issue is solved on your phone. Now, if you have an iPhone 8, you're gonna hold the power button along with the volume down button. So you're gonna press and hold both of the buttons 
until you see the Apple logo twice and then you're gonna release it, right? And if you've got an old iPhone such as an iPhone 5 or 6 with a physical home button in here, you're gonna press and hold the home button along with the power button that is usually on top for iPhone 5 or here at the right for iPhone 6 model. So if you have an iPhone 6, press and hold home button along with the power. If you have an iPhone 5, press and hold the home button along with the power at the top. Now, if the problem still lies on your phone, I would recommend you guys to try for another 10 minutes hitting your iPhone down like this and then keep your iPhone on this position for a couple hours. Okay, so that the water can actually come down. This means that there's a lot of water and we weren't able to remove as much as possible. So this is what you need to perform in order to fix this issue right here. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And if you find my content useful here on YouTube, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below as it helps me to reach out to more people and help more people fixing this common tech issues. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.